You will appear on the ground here in Bangladesh, in Cox's Bazaar, which is just miles away from the area where the Rohingya Muslims have now fled the border and coming over to find refuge. This is the disaster that the UN have described as ethnic cleansing. Half a million people coming into an area where there is poverty already and they're now having to cope with people fleeing violence, people who don't speak the same language. The problem here in Bangladesh is absolutely huge. Some of these people have been fortunate to be able to find tents and temporary shelter homes, but many of these people are sleeping out in the streets. And this now is a wet season here in Bangladesh. So there is hot baking sun at times and there are torrential rains in the evenings. The grounds of these camps can be only described as a mixture of mud and feces. There are people walking around barefoot. When the children are picking up these sort of diseases, it really does magnify the problem even greater. These people need refuge. These people need some shelter over their heads to be able to sleep at night safely. Experienced members in our team have already witnessed skin disease now on some of the young children and this is really going to add to the problems that we're already facing. Many of the people that we've witnessed entering into the camps are already wounded. They've reported gunshot wounds, they've reported wounds from some of the landmines and remember not only that we're now witnessing infighting within the camps People are now getting injured because of desperation of trying to get food and taking it back for their families. We came across a man just yesterday who had a head injury. Over the past few days, we have witnessed with our own eyes some heartbreaking stories. Some of the old people that we've seen here who really should be resting in their homes are now finding themselves in a foreign country where they don't understand the language, walking around some of the camps not knowing where they are, just searching and scrambling for food and because they're old and frail sometimes they find themselves at the end of every single food distribution and it's just heartbreaking to see. We're targeting those families who are the most vulnerable. We're giving out food and shelter aid to those families and we need you to keep on giving and keep on donating to support our work.